it has been a very precious moment. Uh, it's indeed a great honor for me to uh, receive the honorary degree from such a prestigious institution. And it's always very inspiring uh, when you sort of get the recognition, but it is very special when the recognition comes from your own university. This degree means a lot, and uh, as Essex has always been a very integral part of my life, particularly when I was doing my PhD in law here. Uh, it has uh, nurtured me in many different ways. Uh, the, uh, the thought process, uh, the analytical mind and its application, how to formulate issues, how to uh, give them concrete shape, bring it within the framework, because uh, the knowledge is so vast and uh, in any topic, any subject, particularly law and political philosophy, you really need to delve and go through the thicket and the dense arena. And it's very difficult to identify the critical issues with which uh, the relevance of your work is attached. So it has been a wonderful experience. Uh, but I have to admit that when you are in that process as a student, maybe you don't realize uh, the impact of it. But, you know, looking back now, turning back 14 years is a long time. And you can appreciate more uh, what uh, you earned and you learned uh, through this process. Uh, and uh, particularly in the area of work um, in my country, in the socio-economic and political situation, um, in the arena of uh, dealing with constitutional issues, human rights, which is so inherent and it touches the lives of the people in a very fundamental way. Uh, so you really find a very uh, close nexus between the theory that you learn and its implication and application to the real life situation. And I think that is the most important um, thing that you can relate and uh, you're able to relate uh, what you have acquired and how to put it to work to uh, bring about good results, to uh, achieve the goals and uh, to improve the lives of the people.